our previous video, we have seen what matrices are and how we label them. However, in order to use them efficiently, we must first be able to carry out simple operations with them, which is what we will be exploring in this video. First up is addition. Here you can see two different pairs of matrices. The first one is made up of two similar ones, which means that they have the same number of rows and columns, while the second one isn't. A very important thing to understand is that in order to add up two matrices, they must be similar. Therefore, we can add up the first pair, but not the second. After we have made sure that the two have the same dimensions, we can then proceed with the actual addition, which is a simple and straightforward process. The rule dictates that we must add together the corresponding terms. What this means is that you just have to add up the elements in the first row and the first column of matrix A with the ones in the same position in matrix B. These elements will occupy the same position in the resulting matrix A plus B. Do the same until you have added together all the corresponding elements and place the results in their correct position in the result matrix. It's important to notice that the result matrix will have the same dimensions as the two starting ones, which means the same number of rows and columns. We can do the same with subtraction, only pay attention to the signs that the elements of the result matrix will have. Some might be negative. The product of two matrices, on the other hand, is a little more complicated. Firstly, we can only multiply together two matrices if the number of columns of the first one is equal to the number of rows of the second one. Therefore, we can multiply together the first pair of matrices, but not the second. What we then have to do is a little trickier than the rest. We take the first element of the first row of matrix A and multiply it by the first element of the first column of matrix B. We then take the second and the third and do the same. After that, we add the results and place them in the first row, first column of the result matrix. We then move down and do the same for the second row of A and the first column of B placing the results in the second row, first column of the result matrix. We do that with all the possible combinations of rows of A and columns of B, placing each result in the correct spot on the results matrix. We can then notice that the result matrix will have the same number of rows as A and the same number of columns as B. So, this is how you add and multiply matrices. However, before doing any operation, Remember to always check whether or not you can add or multiply together the matrices you are working with, as that is usually the part that catches learners off guard. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fuseco app as well? Until next time.